This video picks up where the last video in this series ended uh, with the demolition. I'm finished with demoing the kitchen and I'm moving to the, the dining room and the living room. There, were, there really weren't very many questions uh, on the last video, but if you do have questions uh, on either video, you can leave them down below and I'll be sure to answer them for everybody in the introduction of the next video in this series. So there have been some wildly incorrect claims in the comment section about home construction and everything from electrical to uh, bathrooms. I mean, it's so, so far from reality. I have no idea where these people are getting their, their information. It's definitely not first-hand information. So this house was built in 1997, and this is a 15-amp circuit here that I'm uh, removing one receptacle that was in that half wall and this is the original outlet <clears throat> and oh my god they're still working 20 what is that someone do the math 1997 to 2018 they're still working how is that possible these this should have burned up in 1998 I swear, these people are making these outlandish claims that, oh, you can't do it that way. It'll only last a, a year. It'll, it'll burn the house down. It, or it'll, it'll leak and ruin everything. It's just so, so ridiculous. So what I do is I test for continuity between the hots. So this here is the hot that's connected to the other, the line that used to go into the wall. And I'll pull these out. I'll pull one out. And... Uh, Test for continuity between the two and find which one goes down that way. This is the other end. Now, if I put it up to the other black one, nothing. So I will find the white and the ground that go with this. And I got a feeling I might be able to pull it through. There's probably one staple somewhere around here, and that's it. Because it just is gonna go through a whole bunch of studs through holes, so I'll, I might be able to pull that right out. So I had my ladder set up in front of the door to get out of the house, so I wouldn't forget it. Well, my wife moved it out of the way so she could get out of the house, and I forgot to bring my ladder. And I have to get up on top of this plant shelf to start tearing that apart. So here is a handyman fact for you. One of the first videos I ever uploaded to YouTube was a project almost identical to this, which is, it was the same vintage with the bullnose corner bead, and I was pulling everything out, the different plant shelves, all the way to the ceiling. Uh, the one I removed happened to go all the way to the ceiling, so I had to refinish the entire ceiling and blend it out. This one's going pretty quick. Uh, it should only take me an hour, hour and a half. I'm about 15 minutes into it and I'm gonna take you up top and kinda of give you a look down inside this whole cavity. So that's the side that I haven't removed yet. And this is the side that I have removed. This is the little bump out that has to come off. It's pretty much this whole lid, this whole little mini floor right here has to come off and then that will bring this the surface back to where they want it. Systematically taking this apart, I'll get out the saw here soon and start cutting this long 2x4 up into pieces because it's recessed into that exterior wall there. So this house is on a golf course, has hardly any backyard. Those are golfers right outside there their back door and their their windows in their living room. <laughs> Wish I had an air horn. 
Wait, when he's getting ready to swing. <laughs> That's going to be a pain in the butt to reroute around that corner. Hmm. Oh well. Okay, this section is about to come out. It's just hanging there by a thread, by a splinter. I don't know if you guys can get a good perspective of how this is on here, framed in. But it's about ready to pull out in one piece. Then I'll pop this floor piece out and move on to that one. This was an unused coax. It goes through the floor. Um, this coax has to get routed and connect to that one. This has to get rerouted. This has to get rerouted. This circuit that goes from here, where it may end up there, goes all the way through. It's all going to get rerun. It all pulled back out. This is probably switched. That's why it's upside down. Get some outlets put up in here. This piece will come off. On the way to the dump, it's a winter wonderland. It's uh, 20 degrees outside, and I have half of a load. Well, no, I've got a full load, but half of the, the, the demolition debris. This one has all the bricks. Bricks, and I believe all the drywall, a lot of uh, two by fours. And I'm going to the dump see how much it weighs. This place is chaos on Monday mornings. Hopefully I don't get run over. But as I am right now, I'm 7,400 pounds total. So what's your guess? Jeez, there's not even really a spot for me. Hopefully that guy gets out of the way. I don't get run over by a loader. Uh, the mornings are also chaos. I think it can jeez. Oh! I think a spot opened up. A spot right there. Alright, we're here. Let's get this out. Try to get run over.
So far, so good. In the home stretch. Got a garbage truck coming, coming at me. Let me take the inside lane. Okay, what were your guesses? How much did that load weigh? Keep in mind, that's only half. I still have a whole nother large load at the house that's gonna get loaded up today. You put your guesses down below. I will reveal it at the end of this video. So the uh, the closest guess, I don't know, maybe I'll, uh, I'll give a shout out or I'll pin your comment or maybe you don't want to be meet me you know talked about on youtube oh this guy's got to come in here holy shit is he coming in he's coming in hot getting out of the way okay try this again so the closest closest guess wins what do you win you win the contest that's what you win <laughs> 